so I talked to you last week that these machines are usually called single needle lock stitch machines because there is a single needle, there is a thread on the top and a thread at the bottom and they <coughs> interlock <coughs> to form a lock stitch, correct? So now what you need to do is, um, I may have talked to you a little bit about the needle but let me just revise this so Susan remembers these. So the needles on these domestic machines have a flat part at the bottom and a curved part in the front, okay? And then the curved part leads into a little notch over here. That's where your thread usually will sit and then go from front to back. Okay. And the rule of thumb with sewing machines is that the direction in which the thread goes from the front to the back is the same direction in which the bobbin case goes in from the front to the back okay on the industrial machines they go from the side the thread feeds in from the side and goes inward and then the bobbin also feeds in from the side and goes inward <clears throat> okay so the first thing to learn is how to thread a machine right and hopefully again you're learning some tricks that are the basis of all machines okay so here is your bobbin case and the bobbin case has this um, angular shaft that fits into this circular rim over here. And you see that notch? Okay. And the bobbin case will be flush with that central shaft. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but you have put the bobbin case like that so it tilts around, but make sure it's sitting <clears throat> inserted all the way. Then I put my bobbin in here. So I already had the bobbin, but in our shop, our bobbins live in this circular wheel that says for domestic machines, okay? There's another circular wheel for the industrial machines. Make sure you're not using that. Make sure you're only using the domestic ones. <clears throat> so I insert our, my bobbin, I tape my thread, and then my thread is gonna go into this little notch here and underneath this curved plate. You see the curved plate? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it sits under the curve plate. It should come out, come out through this sort of window-like area. And then when I pull it, it should be a smooth draw. It shouldn't be a jerky motion or it shouldn't be too loose. It should, you should have to place some effort to pull it out, okay? Then you keep about six to eight inches of thread hanging in here. and then you let it all sit in there. Okay. Your thread goes from the back. Okay, another thing you should know is that on our thread spool holder, there's two blue tabs on the side you see. So the upper ones are only for hand sewing and the lower ones are for machine sewing. Um, because these, those are cotton threads, so they're not as thick or they're slightly older threads as well. And these threads are usually polyester threads, so they have a little body and strength to it. So it sits on this first one, goes from the back. Some machines have sketches, so this machine has a very distinct sketch that indicates how it's going to th get threaded. But some machines don't older machines, let's say you're working on your grandmother's old machine or something. They may not have a sketch, but remembering some of the basics. So in the front, it's supposed to always make the N shape, N for an NC shape, okay? So you saw there's that top corner and we had slipped it underneath, so there's that bottom corner. It made the N shape. <coughs> and usually down here, there's hooks that it'll go through. And sometimes there's one hook, sometimes there's no hook. It just comes from the thread take up lever all the way down here. And sit with a pair of snips. Make sure you have a nice straight um, cut there. Insert your thread into your eye of the needle. Lift up the presser foot. At the back over there is the presser foot lever. You lift it up, the presser foot holds the fabric down, right? Lift it up, you hold the thread with the other hand and then make the needle go up. 
go down and then come up when you do that usually okay that didn't really work but that's a good example okay this time it worked it's kind of hard to see because we're working with gray but another loop came up single needle lock stitch machine so loop from the up top and loop from the bottom locks into each other okay and then we have both the threads the thread from the bobbin and the thread from the top when they're sitting between the presser foot and the throat plate that's when you're ready to sew if your bobbin thread has not been lifted up or if your thread has not been inserted into the eye correctly you're not ready to sew this is when you're ready to sew okay